Okay, in this demonstration I'll just show you a quick um, example of um, how Okta desktop single sign-on works um, to give you transparent single sign-on. So I've got my Active Directory server running. Um, it's running the AG, uh, AD agent that synchronizes user accounts to the cloud um, for Okta. And I've got the IWA agent running. So that installs within IIS. Um, and it's it's that that performs the authentication and delegates that from um, from Okta. Um, so if we look under delegated authentication here in Okta, um, what we'll see is we've got the agents connected. Um, we're configured. Uh, my my domain is welshgeek.okta.com, um, and the configuration in here basically says you know when. Um, when it needs to authenticate, it's going to redirect users to dc 2 welshgeeknet slash IWA, um, and it's that that's going to do the authentication. Um, all of this is based upon the routing policy. My routing policy says, you know, if the user is coming from one of the uh, configured networks, um, then do the desktop SSO. Otherwise, it'll um, otherwise it'll just authenticate normally in the forms authentication. The networks that are configured on here. Um, this says if my gateway IP address is this IP address, um, but also these IP addresses here um, are my proxy IPs. And these are the um, IP addresses of the Z scalar ranges. So basically, if um, Okta sees the source IP address of one of these ranges, but has this added as an X forwarded for header, which Z scalar will add for every transaction, then it knows that I'm coming. I'm actually coming from this IP address via Zscaler, and therefore it'll do the redirection. Okay, so um, that's my setup and the, and the configuration here. Let's go ahead and um, test this. So just before we get going, um, I've got, I'm running on a Mac here. Windows will function the same. Um, I've got a K in it. it. tells me that I've got a Kerberos ticket, and I've just got the ticket granting ticket. And we'll come back and, and take a look at that later on. Um, Within my configuration in Firefox, um, my internet settings just point me at um, Zscaler Beta, um, and it says to bypass for Zscaler for the WelshGeek.net um, domain. So if I go ahead here and go to um, WelshGeek.com and I hit this IWA um, page, I actually want to test the IWA. What it's going to do is it's going to automatically redirect me, sign me in, and now I'm loaded into the Okta page. Okay, so what kind of happened in the background? So if we look here and look at the Kerberos ticket, you can see that I went and got a Kerberos ticket for the WelshGeek.net domain. Um, so, you know, I must have been redirected. That redirect was pretty quick. So what we'll do, let's, um, let's quit Firefox um, and reopen it. I'm just going to run a SAML um, trace here. Um, this is um, SAML, uh, SAML, head, SAML tracer. So let's go back to that welshgeek.okta.com IWA. There it is. Um, and follow the sign in process, and away we go. We're signed in. Um, and we can see a bunch of redirects happened here. I went to the IWA page, Okta CDN happened. Um, and from this, it detected my source IP address, and then it redirected me to IWA. Um, on the Welsh Geek server, that performed the, um, uh, the 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 authentication. We can see we probably got a uh, 401 somewhere in here for the authentication, um, and uh, where is it? Somewhere in here we got a, we're going to get a redirect back to Okta, and then I'm signed in. So basically. You know, from the if we from the the, the redirects and source IP addresses, um, we we know that we got um, authenticated um, transparently. Now, if we log into Zscaler Beta here um, and take a look at the um, the transactions, uh, Web Insights. Let's go for the logs for the last uh, five minutes. Uh, We'll go uh, location. The location is called BT because we're on BT Internet. Uh, 
you look at those transactions. So we've got a we've got a we've got a no auth because of course we don't want to authenticate the authentication traffic. Um, so we've got this no auth traffic, um, and we can see um, in here, you know, the octa the octa URLs pass through. We went to um, welshgeek.octa.com, uh, welshgeek.octa.com, octa CDN. We redirected, and then we came back and we were authenticated. So yeah, the, hopefully this uh, gives you a bit of an understanding of the, the process that goes on. We can dig into more details if necessary. Thank you.